help, I'm lost, I don't know what to do next. Here's the problem as an artist, as a creative, as a, say, actor, writer, painter, musician, there's no clear path to success, okay? It's not like, say, an accountant or an attorney or a dentist. You know, where if you go to school, you follow a certain set of steps, follow a plan, fill out your resume in the right way, and just climb that ladder, that system apparatus, you'll eventually reach a level of lucrative respect. There is no roadmap for an artist, for a creative. So how do we know what to do next? And I'm gonna give you today the best process that I know to devise a clear plan forward. If you're wanting to manifest a dream, if you wanna reach an unventional goal, or you know, complete a creative project, whatever it is, along with a tip that is really the secret sauce to turning your dreams into reality, waiting not so silently at the end of this video. So stick around for that. So let's get started with the story about a young man who returned from college and moved back in with his parents. After a cushy year at home playing video games and noodling around with his guitar, his father asked him, when are you going to put that degree to work and do something with yourself? And the son admitted that over his years in college and over the last year, his interests had changed and now he wanted to be a musician. The father was disappointed, of course, but then he thought about when he was young, being a good father. He said, why don't you get started on that then? I haven't the foggiest idea where to begin, the son said. The father then realized that college had failed to teach him even the simplest approach to achieving anything. He pointed to the staircase that led from the foyer up to the second floor. He said, how many stairs do we have there? And the son kind of counted silently, mm, about 20. And the father said, when climbing those stairs, how do you know which step to take next? The son said, well, come on, that's obvious. The father said, really? Why don't you just jump from the first step all the way up to the top? Or jump from the top all the way down to the bottom? And the son kind of chuckled and said, well, it's impossible for one, and I'd break my neck for another. Well, why don't you go from the first step to the fifth, and then jump back to the third, and then to the second, to the fourth, and then to the sixth, and so on, said the father. That would be silly, said the son. I'd get nowhere. So it stands to reason that the quickest, smart way from the top to the bottom, or the bottom to the top, is to put a foot on each step in order. Unless I skip a step, the son said, he kind of laughing to himself, making fun of his dad a little bit. Not a good thing to do. That can happen sometimes, said the father with a smile, and steps to a goal work the same way. Each step will have a place you need to be before you take the next step. Sometimes you'll have setbacks. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll be able to skip a step. But if you write down your desired outcome and then write down what you realistically need to achieve before that, then write down what you need to achieve just before that, and so on with each step, all the way down to where you are right now, you'll have a clear path and a loose plan of action step by step, including the first step from where you are right now. So reverse engineer your desired outcome. And obviously we need to be crystal clear about a couple of things. Number one, where am I now? Take inventory of your benefits and your disadvantages and just be painfully honest and clear about where you are. And then number two, where do I want to be? What's the outcome I'm looking for? Or what I like to call that desired moment of arrival. Can you firmly see and feel yourself experiencing the moment? Your plan of action will be effective to the degree that you can passionately imagine yourself in this experience. I know it sounds woo woo and all of that, but I have played this out so many times, guys. It's 100%, it's 100%, okay? Be flexible, but only backwards and forwards, okay? Not side to side, avoid distractions that pivot your attention and, and constantly change the direction of your focus. This will keep the target always moving and keep you in a constant state of starting over. Mm, maybe been there a time or two. Stay focused on the next step, but be willing to fail back if you have to into some failure and jump ahead a step if you can. Sometimes luck falls our way and you'll have to take advantage of that unique opportunity before you're ready. Steve Jobs said, people think focus means saying yes to the thing you've got to focus on, but that's not what it means at all. It means saying no to the 100 other good ideas that there are. 
you have to pick carefully. That quote could use some sentence structure, but I think he hits the point right on. According to David Rock of the Neural Leadership Institute, multitasking or focusing on more than one thing at a time actually drops our IQ, causing us to make mistakes and miss subtle cues. It makes us dumber. I'll put a link in the description down below, but stay focused on the next step in your reverse engineered plan and keep pushing. Be relentless. It's like Morgan Freeman's voiceover in Shawshank Redemption talking about Andy Dufresne's escape. And I'm gonna have to take a break here. Here we go. Andy Dufresne loved geology. Geology is the study of time and pressure. And that's all it takes, really. Pressure and time. That and a goddamn big poster. It's almost like he's in the room with us, isn't it? It's like, doesn't it give you the chills? He's telling us a plan, time, focus, pressure. That's how you win. Try it, reverse engineer a desired outcome. And I also promised a magic hack here at the end that kind of seals the deal to this whole thing. If you go through the process and create a plan with honesty and clarity and passion, real passion, you'll realize that the person that you will become when you reach that desired point will not be the same person, at least in many ways, that you are right now. Dig into your imagination and to the best of your ability, live within the presence of that person that you will be now, okay? Act as if the outcome has already been achieved. Have fun with it. This will throw some people off. So what? Oh, well, I'm not saying if you want a million dollars that you should go spend like a drunk sailor, like you've won the lottery, but embody and live with the focus and presence and passion and the purpose and the, and the, and the persistence and all these other words that start with P. The person who has manifested the outcome and really deserves it. Are you saying I should be like a little child and pretend? Is that what you're saying, Ben? Yes, I'm saying pretend until you don't have to, until it becomes an actual reality. And be smart about it. Be a good person because this is powerful mojo. Your imagination absolutely can force reality. I've seen it so many times, guys, and it works. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Test it out for yourself. And we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Support these episodes on Patreon. And also we have a merch store as well. You get shirts like this. And until next time, I'm Ben Jewell. Know yourself better than you know anyone else. <laughs>